Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Welcome to the OBI Dweller channel. Today, I want to go into a little more detail on how to set up the Dweller. I'm just gonna actually pop the roof and let the back out. Lots of people that are interested or looking at these trailers, I think they would like to see how the setup is. And it's pretty simple. If you're already a Dweller owner, uh, also that might help you, but if you bought it from us, we would have kind of walked you through it all. And it's pretty simple. Obviously you have these latches and these are what hold the roof in transit. I just like to slide them back in there and leave them there so I don't lose them potentially. And there's latches on all four corners. If you're short, you might grab a little step stool, but it's not too, it's not too high actually. I mean, I am six feet, so, but I mean, even if I was shorter, I mean, I could still reach even higher than that. So walk around over here and it's on all four corners. So pretty, pretty simple, just all four corners, just do that. And like I said, just leave them in their slot so you don't lose them. Okay, after you pull all the latches, the easiest way is to then do the back and then go inside and pop it up. But so what I'm gonna do is right here, there's these latches and you could put some pins in there. There's not a cutter pin in there right now. So that latches out. And then there's also another safety bolt down here and it you just actually untighten it. Now this is cool, it actually, it actually pops down and you can rotate it and then pop it, lock it back into space so you can get more leverage on it if it's tight or you can just do that. So that pops out like that and then the tire just drops down and then I just store those right there. It's a simple place to store them. You can pop that latch out right there and you it might be a little bit easier to do this with two people because somebody could give you a hand and then just grab that latch right there and then come down here. Once again, see that, see this is kind of an awkward spot to do it. So you can pop this down and turn it and then make sure it locks back in and then you can actually do it. Well, that's tightening this other way. I did it right the first time. And just gives you an easier leverage um, point right there. And then that drops down like this. Once again, just slide it in right there. Okay, after you do that, just grab this latch. And this is the part that I say is a little bit easier if you had two people, just because somebody could hold this, but I just use my head a little bit right here. And I just pull this lever and that rotates like that. And then you lift this thing. And just make sure, this is like a weather, uh, a weather stripping right there. You just want to make sure that's nice and pulled out and that just slides right in there nice and tight. And then of course you have a latch right there and a latch right there. Make sure that's pushed out nice and tight first. And then this guy just kind of drops down. It just sits right there. And then you pull this up and just make sure this one is dropped down. And when it pulls in to place, kind of you can use these handles and then that goes over and then you have a latch right there and then then same thing over here just make sure it's nice and tight and it seals really good I slept in this below freezing and it actually was very comfortable and a lot of people ask can people get into it while you're inside or whatever you do have these little holes right here spots that you can slide in a uh, lock so if you put in a lock there, there's actually no way to open this without having a key to your lock. So you could lock it while it's set up. I never have, because I'm not worried about that type of stuff, but you could. Anyways, let's jump inside really quick and show you how to pop it up. Really easy, take your shoes off. We always take our shoes off here. You come inside, there's these two pins right here. Now, a lot of people actually ask, like, can you be inside of it with the top down? And the answer is yes. Come check this out actually really quick. I think this is a, will be a cool thing for you to see. See, this is the bed right here with, put the pillows out of the way. You could actually set this entire bed up. Oops, I think I missed a pillow. 
Hello. As you can see, you can actually spend the night in this trailer with the top down. Because a lot of people are worried about the canvas, you know, or it being too cold. Like I said, I've camped in it below 32 degrees and freezing, like in the 20s, with it popped up and the trailer stayed pretty warm. Um, as a matter of fact, I had to turn the heat down. It's because the Truma is amazing. It's like an incredible heater. So you can actually leave the top down. Some people are worried about bear country. Like during the day you pop it up and whatever, if you want to sleep with it down, you will preserve some heat for sure. Um, it's also a lot quieter too, it's because the canvas, this, this canvas in the wind is actually pretty nice. It's not, it doesn't flap too much, but I'm just saying like outside noise in general, you'll hear a little bit more through the canvas, but there's these little pins right there and you just kind of push that up like that. And then you put the pin back in so it can't just fall down easily. And the, the reason why I mentioned like the sound um, so these have these elastic bands in them inside this and that elastic band tends to hold make the, the actual canvas pretty stiff. So I have noticed we used to sell some other trailers with pop top canvas and we've been in like 30, 40 mile per hour winds and the whole canvas just, just flaps like really, really bad. I mean, this is still going to flap but because of these elastic bands, it seems to be a little bit less. Cause I spent over two weeks in Baja and we had some really windy days and I, I slept, I don't even remember it being too windy. So, and we were with somebody else that had some tent stuff and they were there and they said the whole night, it was just the wind was, you know, flapping and they weren't comfortable. But once you zip everything up, it's actually pretty nice. But as you can see, I'm six feet and look how far away I am from that light. The bed, king size bed is massive. Like when you get to wherever you're at, you have so much space to move around in this trailer. And that's really cool. And that's one of the things that I love about these uh, hybrid pop-ups. You know, you just have more, more, uh, there's more versatility just because they're, they'll get into tighter spots. But when you get there, you have lots of space. Anyways, thank you so much for watching uh, this OBI, ROA Off-Road OBI channel. Uh, we also have our main channel, which has every type of off-road trailer. We have some of the best off-road trailers in the world. We, we've uh, helped collaborate in manufacturing some. We carry some of the best manufacturers. We import stuff from overseas. Uh, we have a cool, cool lineup. So you wanna go see other off-road trailers, go check out that channel. That's just ROA Off-Road, our main channel. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to make some comments so we can help you out. If you are a first time owner, you didn't buy it from us. Hopefully this is valuable to you and we can add some more videos down the line for you. If you did buy it from us, thank you so much. And we appreciate you more than anything else. You are part of our Romer community. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.